guys, welcome back to my channel, Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and I am still working on my Dreamer designs. Now, I only got started a little while ago, and as you can tell, I'm doing the checkerboard. Normally, I don't do checkerboard. I'm not sure if it's just because I don't like it, or because, I don't know, but I'm doing it. But I decided... That I wanted to do a little whipping chat, I guess. Kind of a late night whipping chat. Like y'all didn't have enough whipping chats. Y'all supposed to be getting a whipping chat tomorrow. Tch, greedy? Either way. I just wanted to come on and address a few things. Because it's been weighing heavy on me. And as you guys know, the past couple of days have been a little bit stressful for me. And I would like to thank each and every one of you that have been supportive with comments and checking on me and everything else. All right, so. Well, Miss Crochet and Coffee, what do you mean? What's going on? Well, if you watched my whipping chat today, you would have heard me explaining about the whole thing with Dreamer Designs and where I was very frustrated over what happened. I wasn't so much mad as I was frustrated. Have you ever had someone make you feel like you're not good enough? Yeah. I spent my entire life feeling like that. Um, growing up, and I don't talk about my childhood much, so enjoy these little treats because I don't like talking about my childhood. But growing up, I lived with my dad and my stepmom, who her and I at the time did not get along at all. Now we're all right, but when I was a kid, she was always trying to have these silent competitions between her daughter, who was two years older than me, and me. And I was always made to feel like I was not good enough. That obviously stopped when I moved out of my parents' house. And even to this day, she still does it. Sad part is, I think she's been doing it for so long that I don't even realize that she, I don't even think she realizes that she does it. She doesn't do it so much right now. And I'm not gonna go into why she doesn't, but I spent my entire childhood growing up thinking, you know what, you're not good enough. You're not good enough to join that team. You're not good enough to do anything. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there like me that struggle with mental health issues. Now, I've been in counseling m most of all my adult life, dealing with problems and issues that I've had since I can remember. A lot of my memories are blocked out because of my bad childhood. But from what I do remember, it wasn't good. And my dad worked a lot. And so I didn't get to see him, which is probably why I'm so close with him now. Is because growing up, he wasn't there. My dad worked two and three jobs, also did college. He, he wasn't there. So for those of you who are like, you know, well, her dad is, you know, blue. Yeah, because I didn't really have a dad growing up. Because where I did have a dad... My dad was either one of two places, sleep or at work. My dad busted his butt to make sure we had food on the table. And it might not have always been what we wanted to eat, but we had food to eat. And it was become because of him. And of course, growing up as a kid, you don't really go, you know, hey, I appreciate the fact that you made sure I had food, dad. No, you just complain that you don't want it or you don't like it or you're not wanting to eat that and blah, 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 blah. If you can't tell, it's going to be a little bit more of a serious chat. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, the reason why I brought up my childhood is because, one, I want to explain, this is being recorded at night. And it will get attached to the other whip and chat that I'm doing. So you'll see it's dark in here now and you're seeing shadows and then all of a sudden it'll be bright the next time you see me after I finish this little piece. And that's why. 
but I wanted to get this off my chest while it was still in my heart. So, yeah. Again, you guys, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support through all this Dreamer Design stuff. It really means a lot to me. The reason why I decided to do this whip and chat, and I decided to do it at 10 o'clock at night. One, because Mr. Coffee got that phone call that I was dreading, and he had to go to work. And I'm worried because he's been up since 4 o'clock this morning, and he hasn't slept yet. Which, in the oil field, is not uncommon for them not to get a lot of sleep. But, um, because all he has to do really is pull a safety card and tell them, you know, this is unsafe for me to work, I'm too tired. And they'll let him take a nap or whatever and, you know, go on about his day. Well, so I figured since he's gone, the kids are asleep, I'll do a whip and chat. Now next week, you guys will get a lot of these nighttime whip and chats, maybe? Because I'm still trying to figure out the schedule for how to do... Whipping chats while the children and stuff are here. If you hear that random noise, it's my neighbors upstairs. They are super loud, and the later into the evening it gets, the louder they get. Yes, it is annoying. Yes, we have asked them to stop. No, they give two flying craps. Either way. But I do have some good news. Uh... Some of you guys know Jen's diamond painting and cross-stitch wall. Hey, I got her name right. I sent her a little guy. We call him Little Dude for those of you who go to her live chats. I sent Little Dude a birthday present today, and he absolutely loved it. And that brightened my day a lot. And also, one of my subscribers made a comment on one of my videos. When she made said comment, I don't think she was going to... I don't think she expected the result that she got. Now, you guys know I have a big heart. And I like helping people. I like doing nice things for people. I like, I like the feeling you get when you help somebody. And I believe her name is Denise. I'll insert her name. And I, I think it was an unboxing... I think it was an unboxing of Mo Magical Mama or something. And she is someone who's always in my lives. She's very supportive of my channel. And she, I think she found me through Stitcherista. But she made the comment. Because I, I guess I, in the video I said, you guys, I want to know how many Diamond Art Clubs I have. And she said, you can give me one. And I went, you know what? I could. So for that unboxing of Magical Mama, I then messaged her and I was like, pick one. Now, I let her pick Magical Mama because when I bought the canvas, I was only buying it to see if it would get here before Dreamer Designs. If you remember, they both got there at the same time. So it wasn't like I really was like dying to have the image. So I, I, get, I let her pick between two of my canvases and she picked Magical Mama. And, oh, sorry, I was just trying to make sure that was still down there. So she picked Magical Mama, so I sent it out to her and she got it today and her reaction just brightened my day even further because she had never had a Diamond Art Club. And I always love people's reaction when they get that first one. And they're like, why didn't you tell me? They, every time, every time, it never fails. Crafting with Christy did it. Spasmatic Arts did it today. Um, every time someone gets that first Diamond Art Club, they're like, why didn't you tell me how soft it was? And I'm like, I thought you knew. I say it all the time in the videos. Well, between her and Little Dude, it really brightened my day. Because I've been having a crap couple of days. Um, now, you're probably asking, well, why have you been having a crap couple of days? Well, it's not the fact that Dreamer Designs doesn't want me to be an ambassador anymore. That part I'm okay with. 
I don't believe in their business practice. I don't believe in what they stand for. They tell you that, you know, they're, they love our community, but then they try to segregate us. And if you don't know what I mean, they started a group on Facebook that's only exclusive to their ambassadors and certain customers. Because they don't, they, 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 they value quality over quantity. So it's an exclusive group. Not everyone will be allowed in, which obviously I know that, you know, I'm one of those people that they were talking about weren't allowed in. And then, of course, they gave you guidelines like, you know, you have to obey the rules. You can't talk negatively, all this, blah, 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 blah. Now, since this stuff has started, apparently Dreamer Designs has decided to say that I, in my group, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee, have been spreading false rumors. Now, I can't control what others do. I can only control what I do. I myself have not, nor will I ever spread false rumors. I'm not even sure what they mean by that because you guys already know. Oh, here we go. So looking in there, can you see what I'm, I'm going after? And then one more piece of stem plastic in there. If I can get it out. Come on, Mr. Plastic, get... Get the hell out of there. All right. But apparently, uh, Dreamer Designs told another ambassador that I had been spreading rumors in my group about their company that were false. That hurt. Talk about kick someone when they're down. Again, if you guys go into the group, I've done nothing bad or mean or wrong to anyone. I don't really post a whole lot in the group. Actually, I do. I lie. I do post a whole lot in the group, but I don't really post anything bad. Like, even when the ambassadorship for me ended, I posted that I was no longer, and I, I blame myself. If no one else noticed that, I said, because of my negativity, I was asked to, you know, part ways with that company. Which, again, is fine. But it's not the fact that they did it. It's how they did it. I am who I am. Everybody who knows me knows this. And I am a very honest person. You guys already know this. I don't care who you are, where you come from, who your mama and daddy is. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you I don't like it, and I'll tell you why. Well, when Dreamer Designs decided to part ways with me for the fact that I have a sense of humor and the fact that I've been nothing but honest, which is what they asked for, it's the way they asked me to part ways and then they talk behind my back like I'm not a person. I, I read a message where they called me an unnamed ambassador. Like, I meant nothing. Like, I wasn't good enough for them. And that that is what hurts. Because even though in my head, I see myself as just another YouTuber. As a person, having someone essentially tell you that you're not good enough to promote their products. And then having them badmouth you behind your back. That hurts. I haven't bad mouth Dreamer Designs, even now, while everybody else is like, you know, I don't like their designs, I don't do this, I don't do that. In my comparison video, even in my whipping chat, I said they're a new company, they have some bugs to iron out. I haven't said anything negative or bad about this company, but apparently it's okay for them to say negative and bad things about me, which, you know, slander my name by saying that I'm spreading rumors in my group. I am not spreading any rumors in my group. And I've actually had a couple people leave my group because of the Dreamer Design stuff, which is fine. People are free to do whatever they want to do. Um, my thing is, 
when you decide that you don't want to do business with someone, telling them essentially that their whatever isn't good enough for you isn't exactly the best way to do it. I don't think I've ever felt so worthless in my entire life. Here I am, my channel's growing every day. Every day. And you think I'd be happy about it. And I am. I am so happy about it. I can't thank you guys enough. Welcome to all the new people. Hoping that you guys are enjoying the channel. It's so random and weird. I don't know what to tell you. You either love it or you don't. Either way. But my channel's growing. And I'm loving it. I am. But then I get my first opportunity to show what I'm made of. To show people that I can be unbiased and honest and you can be honest without being mean or rude or disrespectful. So I, I did my review. And it seemed like at first I played it, chalked it up to the fact that I made such a big fuss about why it took my canvas so long to get here. And that's why they hadn't featured my video. Because for those of you who didn't think I noticed, I did notice that they hadn't featured my video. They have no problem broadcasting Lovecast Forever videos all over their channel or all over their page. They had no problem with my clothes smell like candles all over their page. She put up a video the other day that I don't even know what to say about it. So I'm not going to say anything. She unsubscribed to me. She, kicked, she, she essentially got out of my group. I never once said one word to her. I didn't have to. But that's beyond the point. But I did notice that after I did my review, my review was tucked away like, don't look at this. Look at all these other awesome reviews. Again, making me feel like I wasn't good enough. So then... When I posted about, you know, someone asking me, which it wasn't just one person, it was a few people that had asked me, why haven't you been featured on their page yet? And I'm like, because if you notice, I'm one of the only ones that hasn't given them the budding review of happy, go lucky, everything's perfect, spend your money here. They're, you know, they're absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with these canvases. And as you guys can see, Look at those canvases, guys. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, I've seen somebody make the comment that, well, no picture ever looks exactly like the diamond painting. I beg to differ. Have you ever seen a diamond art club? But when they didn't feature my video or even comment on my video like they did every other ambassador, Felt, I felt some type of way, again, feeling like I wasn't good enough, like my review wasn't good enough. But I'm not going to sit there and lie to you guys, because I value you guys more than some company that came out of nowhere and walked around with their chest out, thumping their chest like they're better than everybody else. And they have their fake smiles and fake, you know, lives where, you know... This woman doesn't even know what a DMC code is. But she can sit here and, you know, pussyfoot around, for lack of a better word, around issues with their canvas and everything else. She can't answer questions. And then I'm being made out like I'm some horrible person because when I'm trying to get answers for those people who don't have channels that necessarily won't get answers from these people... All these other YouTubers are wanting to come and comment on my channel about how I'm wrong. Or, oh, my canvas was perfect. Yours looks like garbage. I don't know what happened. Oh, yeah, me either. It just so happened that you, someone who never gives a bad review on any canvas you have, um, got a perfect canvas. Peculiar, right? So, if it wasn't bad enough that Dreamer Designs dropped me as an ambassador and pretty much made me feel about an inch tall while they did it. They're now slandering my name by accusing me of spreading rumors and essentially 
they now have this little cult, I mean group, where only certain people are allowed in because they value quality over quantity. Does that not seem strange to anybody else? You're going to exclude people from your group? If this community is about togetherness, then why would you exclude people from your group? I have a group. I share my group, actually. I share my group with Rachel Ray. And I don't exclude anyone. I don't tell anybody they can't come in because they're not good enough. And for a diamond paint com company that focuses on the mental health of their customers, they have a funny way of showing it. Because all they've done for me is cause a lot of mental anguish. Because now I sit here wondering, should I stop my channel? Because this was my first time ever doing an actual real review of a company. And they essentially told me I wasn't good enough for them. And now I'm being pushed away like I'm nothing. And I have other YouTubers looking down on me and Instagram people looking down on me because, well, your review is completely wrong. These canvases are perfect. I have them coming to my channel telling me, oh, well, again, my canvas was perfect. Yours looks really bad. That sucks. Oh, yeah, it does. Thank you for that. Thank you for rubbing salt into that wound. Again, for a company that focuses on mental health, they have no clue how bad mentally they mess me up from what they've done. You essentially, that fire I had to let my channel to continue to grow, it dimmed a little bit. I'm not going to say you burnt it out because I won't give you that satisfaction. But to sit there and tell someone that they're not worthy of your company... Daisy, settle. They're not worthy of your company. They're not worthy of your groups. Essentially, you want nothing to do with them, and then you turn around and talk behind my back like we're in high school. Is that really the company you guys want to buy from? A company... I can't even say that's bullying. But that really does mess you up mentally. And from, for me, I suffer from bipolar type 1. I think, no, I think it's type 2, sorry. I suffer from anxiety and depression. And the night that I got that email, my heart, or that message, my heart sank. Because, again, this was my first time to prove that I could do an unbiased review and show people, you know, I can make an unbiased review whether I got a free canvas or not. And essentially, they waited and waited and waited until something was said before they put my review up. I don't know how many of you noticed, but when they did put my review up, they also made sure to, to put in a disclaimer on my review, which no other YouTuber that they featured on their channel or their page had a disclaimer, but I did. No other person that they featured on their channel had the playlist to all the other happy-go-lucky, these canvases are perfect, put into their comments. But I did. Yet again, telling me, you're not good enough. So we gotta, we, we gotta veer people away from what you're doing and essentially, you know, let them look at people that are good enough. And apparently you're not good enough unless you tell them that they're perfect. When they're not. And I debated for a couple of days of whether I wanted to shut my channel down because if I can't even handle one task of reviewing a canvas, then why would I want to do it? Why, why do I want to do my channel? For those of you who have been here for a while, you guys know I started this channel for my daughter because leaving her was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Uh, 
for those of you who are new, my daughter lives in Pennsylvania, and I just recently moved to North Dakota about uh, almost a year now. And I made my channel so that she has something to watch since she can't see or talk to me every day. And that's probably the only reason why I didn't break down and delete my channel. I don't think I've ever been so hurt by the actions of what are supposed to be grown adults running a business. The sad part is I know more about their business than they do. Why? Because I looked it up. I did my research. I know all about Kaylin and her, you know, social media light for hire. I know about the man that actually runs the company that lives nowhere near the U.S. I, I know more about them than they think. But did I go, you know, bashing them or telling them that they weren't good enough or talking crap behind their back? No. Everything I had to say to them, I said directly in front of this camera, sort of say. Or I said it to them in a message. And everything I've told everyone can be proven in messages. I have every message to them saved for that time where they decided that they were going to say that I was slandering their name. Because I knew it was coming because everything about this company just seemed off. And I kept telling I don't remember who it was I was talking to. I kept telling somebody, I'm like, something's not right with this company. When they asked me to be an ambassador, I was over the moon excited. New YouTuber. I get a chance to like do an actual review. And like a lot of the other ambassadors, I'm sure, when I got it, I was so excited. I was hoping that it would be something that's really good. Boy, was I wrong. I was so disappointed by the quality. And I, I know quality when it comes to diamond painting. I might have only been doing this for less than a year, but I do a lot of research on diamond painting. I look into just about every canvas I get. And since they were a new company, I couldn't look into their canvases, but I could look into their company. The internet's a wonderful thing. But... I just thought it was funny that a company that focuses on me mental health as a selling point can be so hurtful to others. You start a group where you exclude people because they're not good enough for your group. How is that mentally healthy for people? Can anybody answer that for me? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm in, I, I did say, and I still will stick by the fact that I said that I enjoy working on this canvas. There's a couple of things about it I would change, but I do enjoy working on this canvas. It's not turning out the best, I'm not going to lie, but that's not going to stop me from doing it. It just shows my determination to my subscribers that I'm willing to torture myself and put myself through this mental anguish and this killer migraine that I'm suffering from right now. To work this canvas up for them to let them see what it looks like and I'm pretty sure I will get one of the ambassadors that randomly will come to my page and tell me you know well I don't have a problem with dreamer designs I got a canvas and it was perfect I don't know what you're talking about look everyone has different experiences obviously your experience was better than mine so why do you feel the need to come to my channel and push your agenda on me this is my channel not yours if you don't like what I have to say, kick rocks. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Amen. And over the past couple of days, I've had quite a few YouTubers come to my page and tell me, essentially, essentially they come to my page and tell me that their canvases were perfect and mine's, they're not, it, it, you might have to work it up first, but there, I don't see anything wrong with your canvas. Well, then obviously you don't know quality, sweet pea. I'm just, I'm baffled that a company, like literally on their box, talks about the mental health reasons why people diamond paint. And 
they even have an ebook that explains the mental health, you know, whatever as to why people diamond paint. But yet they will sit there and hire you as an ambassador, talk down to you as if you're a child, bash you behind your back make you sound like you're a nobody. And for what? Just to push their canvases? I don't think I've ever been so hurt in my entire life. And the fact that I even had the thought to delete my channel over this company. No. It's companies like this that make me want to continue my channel. Companies that I feel are trying to scam people out of their money by just giving them crap products. If you are in my group, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee, if you don't know, I also admin another group, Diamond Painting Underground. I also do post sometimes on Gone Off My Meds page because she is generous enough to randomly sometimes I will post a video or something on her page and I posted a picture of this diamond painting, how far I've gotten so far. So far, I'm halfway done. And I got a lot of comments about how bad it looked. And I didn't know what quite what to say to somebody because I'm not used to people's looking at my diamond painting and go, wow, that looks like crap. Not that that's what's been bothering me. It's just the simple fact that I don't understand how this company can treat people so badly and still have people that are like, I don't see how they treated you badly. It's just a craft. There's no need to get bent out of shape about it. That's because you obviously don't care about your subscribers. You care enough about them to lie to them and tell them that you don't no return policies that you don't have any you, you don't have any uh, you don't know how to do squares you, you don't have any you know history with doing squares so you don't know if they're supposed to have gaps in the canvas or not by the way squares aren't supposed to have gaps and this canvas does but it's perfect and I'm not good enough to help promote or help, help help a company better their product. I'm not good enough for that, no. I'm good enough to talk behind my back. I'm good enough to be made fun of by other ambassadors. I'm good enough for ambassadors to come on my page on Facebook and then report back to them about my activity. Yeah, I already know. I'm good enough for to be used as an example of what not to do with the company. And because I'm an honest person, because I value and respect the people on my channel that take the time out to thumbs up, thumbs down, interact, comment on my channel, I value them enough not to lie to them about my experience, I'm not good enough for this company. And I don't know about any one of you, but when you're told you're not good enough for something, it tears you down a little bit. It knocks the wind out of your sails. And that's where I'm at right now, which is why you're getting a weird late night whipping chat. Now, will they see this? Probably. Will they care? No. Why would they? They'll probably just sit back in their group and laugh and chuckle at the fact that they hurt my feelings. Usually, stuff like this doesn't hurt my feelings. I usually just brush it off and move on. But these people are promoting a fake sense of happiness that will never be obtained and then once you break that fake happiness, they kick you out, talk bad behind your back, and treat you like you were nothing. I just, wow.
I mean, I I got I was unhappy with the canvas that I got from Diamond Art Club. Now, did I contact Diamond Art Club and tell them I was unhappy? No, but I know they watch my videos, and I appreciate that. The fact that they actually do watch my videos, not to spy on me, not to see if I'm following behavioral issue rules. They, they watch my videos because they enjoy my videos, and nothing means more to me than getting comments from Walmart or Amazon or Diamond Art Club. Stuff like that helps me keep going. Now, if someone were like, you know, I don't like your channel because, you know, you do this. Essentially, that's someone, when, when people make comments like that, you're telling someone, you shouldn't be who you are, so change it to satisfy me. Am I, are we circus monkeys for you guys? Like, YouTubers are real people. We're real everyday people. And so when you go on someone's channel and go, I don't like the fact that you do this. Essentially, you're telling that person, I don't like who you are, so change it for me. You're not good enough, so change it. So the next time you go to put something on someone's channel and tell them that you don't like something that they're doing, how about just clicking off their channel? You never know mentally what somebody is going through. And that one comment could be what pushes them over the edge. At the end of every video, I tell you guys to be kind, be courteous. Because those are, those are things that I was taught when I was growing up. You be kind to people because you never know what they're going through. You be courteous and respectful of others. Because again, you don't know what just happened to them. Honesty and integrity are two things I will never, never let anyone censor on my channel. The fact that I saw my dad tell me he was proud of me for sticking to my guns and not letting them censor me. And for the integrity that I showed, you guys will never know how much that means to me. And so where this company essentially has come in and told me that I'm not good enough and then made, the gr made a group and pretty much said in their video of the group that not everyone's good enough to be in their group, just a select few, because they value quality over quantity. Do we really need more segregation in this world? Do we really need people coming in and telling us who's good enough and who's not good enough? You're going to start a group where only certain people are allowed in? If this is supposed to be a community, then why are you separating it? This is Black History Month. As you guys know, I'm black. Yep, I said it. I remember when slaves were segregated and we read about it in school. And all I could think about was why would people want to be separated? How do you know that you couldn't be that person's friend if you, if you separate them? I don't separate anything in my life. There's no segregation. My husband's white. I'm black. We have three beautiful mixed children. Together we have two, but with Menno, that's three. For those of you who are like, hold up, this math. Yeah, Minna makes three. Because I dare you to tell my husband that that little girl isn't his. And I dare, you, I dare you to tell Minna's father that that's not Minna's stepfather. And I guarantee you're not going to like the response you get. But in slave days, they would segregate blacks from the whites, as you guys know, just because of the color of their skin. No, no real reason, just because of the color of their skin. And I know the topic of race makes a lot of people un uncomfortable. And what people don't see is companies like this that come in, they demand respect. They don't believe it needs to be earned. They come in and shove these products at you. Go, you need to like these. If you don't, 
We don't want to have anything to do with you. And then they just push you away. They segregate you from the people they, they deem good enough. Do we really need more people coming into this community and spreading hate where there was so much love before? Are we going back to when the you know, slaves were segregated because they weren't good enough to sit with white people or drink at the same fountains or sit in the same theaters? Is that really a company you guys want to back? A company that promotes segregating people because certain people aren't good enough? I'm sorry. I was raised that everyone is good enough. It might not be in what you want them to be good enough in, but everyone is good enough. And I personally don't really want to sit here and be made to feel like I'm not good enough by a company that gives two flying craps about anyone besides themselves and lining their pockets. I do appreciate those, again, those of you who have stood by me through this because it's been rough. It might not have seemed like it, but it's been rough. If you saw my whipping chat, you would have noticed I kept saying squirrel. Squirrel. For those of you who don't know, with my depression, when I get extremely stressed out, I blather on and on and on and on, and the subject constantly changes. Imagine having a conversation with me like that. Now imagine Mr. Coffee being with me for 10 years. And you guys wonder why I love him. My husband was the first man to ever make me feel like I was worthy enough. That I was good enough. He makes sure to remind me of that every day. Whether it be verbally. Whether it be him going out to work and busting his tail for us like he's doing tonight. That man woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, has not slept, came in, went and got his kids from school, helped them with their homework, helped me make dinner, ate dinner, got a phone call, went right back out to work. All right, sorry about that. That was a phone call from my dad. Um, for you, it was just a few seconds, but it was a few minutes. I needed to calm down. Um, my dad is very supportive of my channel and I couldn't be more grateful of that um he sent a message to dreamer designs letting them know for the fact of the way they treated me that he no longer would like to do business with them I also want to point out real quick I am not in any way shape or form saying that these people are racist when I brought up the whole slavery thing but it was the best example that I could think of. It's Black History Month again, people. Um, but yeah, I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying that these people are racist. I'm just saying it seems like they're trying to spread more separation and more, not so much hate, but essentially they're making people feel like they're not good enough. And... I'm not sure where they're getting that I slandered their name, but I have never said anything slanderous towards them or about them. If I have, someone please let me know down in the comments what I said that would be considered slanderous because I don't believe I said anything. And if I did, please school me. I even made a big old post today in my group about how excited I was at the fact that they seem to finally be taking these customer service um, inquiries. Inquiries? You know what I mean. They, they finally seem to be taking things seriously. I had three people today tell me that they got full refunds for their canvases. I was so happy to hear that. And where before it was, you know, like has been pointed out, on their website, there's no return policy stated. If it is, it's new. 
because it hasn't been on there. Which is why nobody knew what the return policy was until a couple of people tried and got really, really upset when they found out. I'm not sure if they just did it for that select few of people. Uh, again, what the lady said in her live, the Kaylin lady said in her live, she said it was, you know, person to person basis. I don't know. And all I know is I don't want to lose subscribers over this. I don't want to lose friends over this. I don't feel that I've done anything wrong. I feel like I did a good job. I took the job seriously like I do any other job I'm asked to do. But I was made to feel like I wasn't good enough. Now they have their precious little group where, you know, not everyone's allowed to join. Only if you're good enough for us and we deem you good enough. Not that, you know, the only reason why I want to join the group is to show this image when it's done. When I showed them the image, they didn't see anything wrong with it. But quite a few people that have seen it have pointed out what's wrong with it. But they don't believe anything's wrong with it. And I'm just, I'm just frustrated, I'm upset, I'm irritated, my head hurts. And honestly, if I knew what I knew now, back when they asked me, I would have never have contacted them. I would have never have talked to them. I would have never accepted this. I don't need anything else stressing or worrying on my mental health. This whole thing mentally has been nothing but a headache. Like a really bad migraine that you can't get rid of. I'm not slandering their name. I'm not saying anything that's untrue. Again, if you guys want proof of anything that has been said on my channel, please feel free to contact me. Whether it be my personal page, whether it be my business page, whether it be on my Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray page. Please, contact me. Because, as you guys already know, if I did something wrong, I will apologize. If I said something or misspoke, I'll apologize. Sad part is, I invited them. Not that they needed an invitation. They were all up in my... If you guys noticed, they were all up in my lives whenever they were getting ready to come out. Until I did that review. And then you guys noticed that they never showed up anymore. I even invited her into the live. I invited her to come join us for the premiere. I invited her to come answer questions on a couple of my after hours lounges. They didn't bother to show up. They didn't want to answer customer questions. They were too busy. I'm sorry. I just... That has been weighing heavy on my heart for a few days. And again, I can't thank you guys who support me enough. Again, I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying that these people are racist or promoting hate. But what they're promoting isn't togetherness. Obviously not if you have a group that not everybody's allowed in. I'm a customer. I, didn't, I never asked for that refund for Grumpy Cat. I never, ret I didn't return Grumpy Cat. That was just their way to get me to shut up so I would go away. And honestly, I'm still going to do my canvases. I paid for them. Or I paid for that one. This one was, I was asked to do. And like I told or said in my whipping chat, I'm doing it for my subscribers, not for them. I won't give them the satisfaction. They can sit back and watch these videos and judge me, say what they want, tell their ambassadors that they have to say this script because, you know, they're not promoting hate or they're not promoting, you know, good mental health practices as they claim. I don't care anymore. I don't care what they think. I'm good enough. And I don't need some stupid company that thinks that 
nothing they do is wrong coming and trying to make me feel like I'm not good enough, like I've done something wrong. Done nothing. I did what you asked. I gave you an honest review. That's all I've done. If I've slandered their name, I will apologize. I will come on here and just like I did for Diamond and Rough, I will make a formal apology. But I don't feel like I did anything wrong. Nor do should I feel like I'm not good enough because I'm not the prototype mannequin that you're looking for for your company. You can't promote mental health and then beat somebody down mentally. That's not fair. I just... I, I can't... I, I can't fathom it. And the fact that I had thoughts of deleting my channel because I was just... I don't want to go through that again. That people don't know, again, you don't know what somebody is going through. And the way they handled themselves and the fact that they keep telling people that I'm slandering their name, I'm not slandering their name. What have I done that was slanderous to their name? I would love to know. And that's part of what's bothering me too is the, full, the whole slander thing. Now, if I remember correctly, slander is the action or crime of making false statements to ruin someone's reputation. Please tell me what I said that ruined their reputation. What false statements have I made? Again, any statement I've made, I have proof. I have screenshots of conversations between me and some of their customers, me and them. I can prove anything that I've said. So I would like for them to contact me via email. I'll leave the email down in the description box because I know they're gonna watch this because I'm pretty sure one of their ambassadors will roll running back and tell them that I posted this video. And I'll make sure to put their name in the title. But this might be a whip and chat all its own. I'm pretty sure it's probably already an hour long. But I had to get that off my chest. It was weighing heavy on my heart. And I wanted to get it out before I forgot it. And if nothing else I've learned in therapy is you shouldn't hold in your feelings. You should try to express yourself in the best way possible. And I think I did that. I'm, I'm normally a very kind-hearted person. I have a heart of gold. And I wouldn't intentionally hurt someone for my own gain. I'm not going to say bad things about someone to make myself look better. I don't feel I need to compete with anyone. So, yeah. So, I've been randomly sticking little YouTuber tips into my videos lately, I've noticed. So, I'm going to put this tip into the video, which I've said it once, and I'm going to say it again because it's a great tip. I got this tip from Redneck Beauty. Never let anyone censor you or tell you you can't be who you are. The fact that I actually felt bad that I wasn't an ambassador anymore and I thought you know what did I do wrong the fact that they made me feel like I wasn't good enough for their company because apparently everything I said was negative well can't have positivity without some negativity but apparently they don't want negativity they only want positivity. They claim they watched my channel. If they had honestly watched my channel, they would have seen that I do speak my mind. I am very honest. If I don't like something, I'm going to say it. 
And for those of you who are like, oh, well, you're biased to Diamond Art Club. Not really. There's been times where I've, matter of fact, in my one video for Friends of the, from the Seas, I said the faces on the people look like nightmare fuel. Was that nice? No. Was it negative? Yes. Now, if they want to come and call me a negative Nancy, they are more than welcome to call me a negative Nancy because I was pretty negative about those faces because those faces are nightmare fuel. But for a company that knows nothing of my channel besides watching and lurking in my videos to see what I'm doing, yeah, I can't, I can't be down with a company like that. Am I telling you guys that you guys can't, you know, be fans of this company? No. I'm not. I'm I'm telling you my feelings on my experience with this company. It should know if it view if if you see this and you think, well, you know, oh, well she's just, you know, mad because she got booted from the ambassador place. Not really. I'm hurt at the way they did it. I'm not mad. I'm not mad because I'm free from having to feel like someone's critiquing everything that I do. You have to act a certain way. You have to be a certain way. I am. I, I don't want to fit into a mold. I've always stood out my entire life. I'm like that picture of the horses and it's like whenever everyone else is being trying to be normal, be a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be inspired by others, but I don't want to be like them. I want to be me. I'm happy being me. And I don't feel that because being me means being honest. I don't feel like I should be made to feel like I'm not worthy of somebody's time or energy. And then they're just going to go and tell people behind my back that I'm slandering their name. So... For Dreamer Designs, because again, I know they will watch, because I'm pretty sure one of their ambassadors will come tell them, hey, watch this video. She had all this negative stuff to say about you. In the comment section below, I'm going to leave my email, and I would like for them to let me know how I slandered their name. And without getting a generic answer, because that seems to be all they are willing to give me, I'm not even worth their time to think of an actual answer. All I've gotten was generic answers. So maybe, just maybe, they'll see this video and go, okay, you want an answer? Here's an answer. You slandered our name by saying this. Again, if I'm wrong, I'll issue an apology. I'll apologize to them. I'll issue an apology first thing and when I get it, and I'll move on with my life. Will it stop the hurt feelings? No. But my feelings will heal. But them being shallow as a company, no, that that's that's like stupidity. It's the one thing you can't fix with duct tape. But this is just late night rambling, and I really wanted to get that off my chest. So, thank you guys so much for watching. You don't have to like or dislike this video. But if you do, do what you do. But as for me, I am going to take and go to bed because I have the worst migraine on the planet. No, it's not from the canvas. It's from the fact that I don't have the right prescription in my glasses. Which is why I made the eye appointment that apparently nobody believed that I had. Or I should say, some people didn't believe that I had, because that was me being negative. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I wish this was a happier video, but I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna go lay down for a while, I guess. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you don't have to like or whatever this video. It's a downer video anyways. It's just a way for me to get out my feelings. So it is what it is. Uh, but thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, especially if you got to this part of the video. Um, 
I don't know what else to say besides, as always, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Good night, guys.